Okay, I'm talking about uh, WordPress child theming. Uh, and in our WordPress child theme, we're using Bootstrap. In fact, this media query here is what we're talking about. In Bootstrap, it is designed to be mobile first. What does that mean, and how are we going to do this? Now, you can go read their description of mobile first. I just want to talk a little bit about how we're going to use it and what we're going to do. First of all, um, this, by the way, is a slightly different code called less. And the point is, you the beginning of our styles begin with extra small devices, for, phones, for example, that are vertically aligned. Um, in a phone that's vertically aligned, we're talking about a really narrow screen. And really, there's no need for layouts. Um, one of the things you, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have readable text. We want our text nice and big. We don't want to have to zoom in. And we certainly, if we zoom in, we don't want to have text go off of our screen. OK, so here we go. i got to wake up my phone. Here's the problem with <laughs> mobile. See that? You got this. This is a wiki site. See how small that text is? Let's say I'm trying to read it. What am I going to do? Am I going to zoom in? It's waiting for the prime opportunity. If I zoom in, then look, I've got this little scroll bar thing. Everything's reversed. So do I scroll and scroll and scroll to find my text so I can read it? That's no good. You can't have that. Why is so funny? Well, I'm glad I'm providing such great fodder for my students right now. Am I that funny or are they just that easily entertained? We don't know. All right, but the point is, the point is, when we're small, we don't want all this layout. We don't want small text. We don't have to scroll left and right. That sucks. All right, so what we do is we take our site. So let's see if I can find my local host. Here we go. It's already got Bootstrap on it, but let's just shrink this dude. And this is kind of like mobile device. Now, we already have an issue here. Check that out. I do have to scroll. So there is an issue with this site right now. That's not good. All right, we try to avoid that. I filed that under the bad category. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Control zero. Little better. We want to fix that. OK. So anyway, mobile first means you get yours as narrow as you can go. Like Maybe, let's see if I can get this any more now. That's as narrow as my browser can be. You look at your site, and then you fix what you need. So at this size, we don't need layouts. We certainly don't want to scroll. But we probably want a little bit of padding on the left, padding on the right. We don't want our text line up just like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to design it this size, and then we're going to get all the features we want. Once we have it looking good at this screen, then we start pulling out and we start ask, asking ourselves, all right, where can we make a good change? Uh, let's look at the media queries again on Bootstrap. Zero. OK. So you'll note anything that's less than 768 pixels. Now, how do you know how wide your screen is? Well, if you have Chrome, or you have Edge browser, some other browser, usually F12 gives you these, which is uh, this kind of code. When you have F12, if you click on the window and you start to scroll the size, somewhere it should indicate the width of your screen. And it's not. So, uh. Okay, so that wasn't doing very good. I'm going to go back to my site here, type F12, and look here. Here you go, device mode. So we can sc scroll this out. Look at that responsive, 400 pixels wide. That's what you see on the site. Text gets cut off. Um, it's just right there, barely on the side. You can change the width here. Um, so if you go to Bootstrap and you use their particular uh, media query, query, we could say, let's try 768 next. So you click on your site, type out 768, hit enter, and that's what 76, uh, 768 is. You can see maybe now's the time to try a horizontal nav bar, or maybe not. And the other thing you can do is you can just resize all of these at any point to see what it looks like. 
So what you do is you just start designing, you get it wider and wider and wider, and you just keep adding your designs. So for today, let's see if we can fix, uh, we'll go back to 400. Let's see if we can fix what's going on with that. Why are we having some scrolling? What is the issue with that? I'm going to go back out of this mode, and I'm going to resize it so we can recreate it on here. And now comes the question is, what is so wide that's forcing this to have to scroll left to right? So the, the general guideline in trying to figure out why there's, for example, a horizontal scroll bar is I, I want to not give you code. I want to teach you how to code. So you know it's that old adage, give a person a fish or teach them how to fish. Well, I'll give you a piece of code or I can teach you how to code. So we're going to troubleshoot, and the way we're going to do that is we get our F12 set up. We're looking for what happens when we scroll way over here. You want to click on this little thing here, select an element of the page to inspect it, and then you hover around. Now, the first thing I notice is that when I'm hovering here, you see the blue kind of cuts down. That's clearly not where we're having trouble. So we click on one header, and now header. ID equals header. Let's see if maybe that's what's going on. So I, I, I highlight it. Now it says header is highlighted. You see here it says it's 960 or 900 pixels wide. Hard to read. And I'm going to look for anything that declares the width. Now sometimes it'll be a certain width because something else made it that wide. And if you scroll down and see nothing, you move along and you go to the next item. So we, this may take a while. So what I'll probably do is just do uh, record the next sex session in fast motion. And then you can just see how long it takes me to figure this out. Oh, right there. There is it. There it is. <coughs> okay. Well, guess what? I didn't have to do anything fast motion other than uh, do a bunch of little work here. Right here. ID of wrapper has a width of 960. So HTML5 reset child or reset theme is not the way to go because look what they did. Now let's see um, how uh, we do it in a bootstrap site. In a previous bootstrap video, um, I have one here where there is a little bit of a scroll bar, not good. But it's a little less, so I just want to see what I did on the page source here. In our body tag, we gave it a class of wrapper, a class of row. Let's go ahead and do something like that on our WordPress site and see if we can fix that issue that we had, okay? Which is the div with an ID of wrapper. So this is part of, it's before the header, so we know this should be in header.php. So right now, if you look at my two folders, HTML5 reset has a header, but HTML5 reset child does not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy header from here, copy, and I'm going to paste it in my child theme folder, and I'm going to edit this. So I right click, edit with notepad++. There it is. There's that div with an ID of wrapper. I'm going to change that to class. And um, I'm definitely going to add a row. I'm going to save my changes. And then notice header in the child theme is different from the parent theme. Uh, no, I just fixed the wrong file. <laughs> OK. HTML5 reset child. Edit with Notepad++. Oh, it's on the right-hand side. Right-hand side. Let me just close that so I don't screw with that anymore. Change it from ID to class and add row so we can now start doing our bootstrap rows and columns and things. Go back here, hit refresh. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Uh, weird. Everything's still cut off. Now everything's off to the left a little bit. That doesn't look good. Um, oh, it's probably because row has a margin right, margin left. So maybe I'll just take row out, save my changes, hit refresh again. 
That looks a little bit better. Look, no scroll bar. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Fixed it. We still have a problem though. In our wrapper, notice all our text is really close to the side. What we need to do is add some padding to our wrapper. So let's go ahead and open up the style sheet that is in the child theme. So I right click on styles. I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus. And right here, I'm going to put dot wrapper because it's a class. And I'm going to put padding zero for top and bottom. And we'll do a 0.5 EM left and right. Save our changes. Let's view it in here. Hit refresh. Is that good enough? There's no horizontal scroll bar. We might want to try a, a 1 EM. And you feel free to adjust this as necessary. Oops, I better make sure I put down here EM. Save my changes. Hit refresh. Again, we're designing for mobile. Can you read it? Maybe we want our text a little bit larger. So what we can do here is we can just put font size. And let's put here 110%. Save our changes, hit refresh. Our text should be a little larger now. Let's try 120%. Save our changes, hit refresh. Not seeing a huge change in font size, are you? So, time to go back to F12, see what's going on. Ah, here's our problem. On the body, the font size is set to 14 pixels. So, Here's the problem. This is using body as the selector, right? And if we scroll down here, there's, uh, let's go down a little bit further. Ah, right there. Body, font size, 120%. It's crossed off. So we have a conflict. If we already set the body at one font size and we try to change it again, the change is not working. So what we're going to do is a little thing called specificity. And we're going to add one more little bit of information so that we can fix this. By the way, I'm going to take out the font family. I really don't want that font family. I do want a font size. So how do I make that a little bit larger? Well, let's add one more piece so that we are more specific in the way we style it. So we have this body, class equals home, blog, logged in, admin bar, customize, support. I don't see anything that can help me here. Um, how about I add head in front and I put, not head, HTML in front of body. Hit refresh. My text bigger. Anything. Oh, look, there it is. Font size 120%. It's actually smaller than it was before. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I could put it to 16 point or 16. Was it pixel or point? 14 pixels. So we make it 16 pixel. Save our changes. Hit refresh over here. Yeah, now it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more readable. But you see what's happening here? You kind of have to figure out what's going on. And I think this is leading into a second video I need to go over, which is about specificity. Uh, I'll save that for another day. All right, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit, I don't like having to do HTML space body. I'd rather have body with a class on it. So I went to header and I see that it says body class. And in order to add yet another class, what we can do is put a little string inside and we can just put HTML5 child. Okay, save our changes. Let's see if that works. Um, by the way, I got this from just going to uh, adding more classes. I just did a Google search for this um, body class in WordPress. That's where I found the answer. So I go in here, I'm going to hit F5. I'm going to get my developer tool back up. And now when I click on body class, uh, it says HTML5-child. I've added it there. So now, 
I go here and I change this to body dot HTML five child like this. Save my changes. This is more specific than just body, so this should win out. Go back here, hit refresh. Bot size should still be large. And now I see here body.html5 child is working. I know it's working because it's in my dev tool. So there's a handy little trick I gave you right here. You can add a class to the body tag by just adding what you want added right in the middle. If you wanted to add two classes, you just write it, put a space, write your other one. Okay, so that's how we did it.